Hello friends, good evening. How are you today? Today we are at the Toys R Us Babies R Us in West Mifflin. Over there is the Man the Right Aid, which I'm gonna do, and back there is a mattress world. Look at that sign. I was excited because uh, the Manaka Toys R Us you cannot get into. Uh, they blocked off the parking lot, so I was kind of worried about that happening here, but nope, definitely did not happen. There's two cart returns. Doesn't say anything about Toys R Us on them. I love this one. Like, the design is just nice. Very beautiful floor. I was in this one, if you want to watch, right before it closed. I did this one uh, store closing video. Uh, looks like we're going to be able to see right into it. Store closed, imagine that. Let's see if anyone, anyway, it looks like lights are on. A couple of lights. Looks like all the shelving's still there. Head on over here where there's another door which is open. I love that design in there, the yards going every which way. Can't see too, too much. Unfortunately, this building is available. We will walk over to that sign as well. Store closed. Yes, yes, we know. Uh, Mattel, Disney, Pixar, Cars, Thomasville, Racing Speedway, Track Set, <laughs> Chico. Hello, Toys R Us. I miss you. I definitely, every time I do a Toys R Us, I think I repeat myself, but uh, I definitely do miss it because it, it, it was, it was such an easy place to shop for your kid. Like I literally had a daughter right after, to, right before Toys R Us and Babies R Us were closing. Even Babies R Us was nice for certain things. Like you can get a lot of things at uh, Walmart and Target and all that, but it was like, literally especially babies are us for what right when you have a newborn everything imaginable i never bought diapers there because they were outrageously priced by the way you go up there uh to century three which i think i'm gonna drive around pretty sure the uh jc penny is still open and i was laughing the old mexico restaurant it was still uh the signs still out front of the building like the big century three sign there are people over here stopping and slowing down to go through potholes <laughs> that's how bad it is back here look at their lights all dangling up there <laughs> well at least this one's not flooded like boardman <laughs> boardman was definitely messy oh no it looks like somebody either bought the customer pickup sign or stole it let's hope the earlier of the two there's a glove if you want it. I always like the customer pickup sign. Yeah, definitely no flood problems here. Uh, I bet you, I want to say somebody took this. Look, there's a light switch in the customer pickup sign box. Yeah, it's really low here. I've never seen one that low. I wonder how often the customer pickup was actually used. Because I remember one time I was laughing, the one in Cranberry... We bought what we thought was a dresser, and they're like, oh, come around back. It will be easier to load up into your van around back. And sure enough, it uh, definitely was not. It uh, was a dresser topper. Oh, geez. There's actually a Toys R Us and Babies R Us gift card. Oh, man, all kinds of them back here. Some glass, too, so if you come back here, be careful. Yeah, there's all kinds of goodies. Looks like a <laughs> horseshoe magnet of some sort. <laughs> There's a Lego man. An iTunes gift card. Uh, Babies R Us gift card back there. Toys R Us gift cards. All kinds of that. There's all kinds of Toys R Us gift cards back here. That's nuts. Oh, geez. Look at this. It is literally stuffed. There's a water bottle if you're thirsty. Still got a bunch in it. Yeah, there's a bunch of Toys R Us gift cards back here. Look, they're just random. I bet you there's 50 of them back here. Some sunglasses. There's all kinds of them under there. Like, not even joking. I guarantee there are about 50 of them. Just random. <laughs> there's also some bugs there. Definitely get out of there. There's another one. 
it's crazy how they just they basically fill up their trash and then just that's it close the doors moving on uh i always bring up the point where i think i, I do agree i think the company will come back but it will be like a circuit city and like even uh hh H. greg i saw now is back but it is back as an online only retailer which is it doesn't work out well because they charge so much to try to make up i don't even know why they try to make up anything because uh they don't need to like just charge normal prices and you'll make money why charge so much more for things like i went on hh H. greg's website it was absurd even century three is the same way yeah my wife and kid are over there walking she says let me and babies are us and toys are us i want to go shopping so we'll take one good look down the hall here and i would like to thank you for watching today please like and subscribe if you haven't already i hope you really enjoy my content and we'll see you next time right here with the gear shots i also do public restroom reviews as well as abandoned places all the time every night uploads at 12.01 a.m